good morning students welcome to the another episode of the types of information system today we are going to discuss about one of the information systems which is called management information systems this management information system is used by the middle level managers so they use this information system to view the data according to their requirement so today we are going to see first what is this one and how it is going to help us let us try to see first what is management information system it manage middle management needs to help monitoring control decision making and administrative decisions so middle management of any organization actually is uh, going to take care of this one they need to help they need the help to view monitor and control and make so, so that they can make administrative activities and decision making so the middle management needs an information system and that information system is called management information system so as i already told you it is an information system that serves the middle level management it's very clear for you now it is used by the middle level management okay what it is going to do for the managers it is going to provide them with the reports on the organization's current current performance what is happening now with the organization the middle managers wants to know like for example we are into the online learning now as a middle manager they want to know how many students are able to log in and how many students are actually using this particular information system online learning tool so they have to get the reports report means it can be daily report it can be monthly report it can be yearly report it can be a half hourly report anything like this so what they produce reports which actually reflect the current performance of the organization so it actually summarize the what actually it will have in the report the, the, the report will summarize these things what it is going to summarize it will actually summarize the data which is got from tps it is going to get the data from where from the tps the mis uses the data from transaction processing system so the data is going to come from the transaction processing system and it is going to make a summary of the data which is available in the transaction processing system so the transaction data from the tps is compressed and presented in form of reports on a regular schedule what is a regular schedule just now i told you regular schedule could be what it could be what a monthly report daily report weekly report or something like this mis server servers serves managers primarily interested in weekly monthly and yearly results this is what i already told you many number of times now in this slide so it is going to summarize the data from the tps it is going to produce the reports and these reports are going to be produced early monthly and weekly or even daily okay and they are using simple routines they are not going to make any big uh, like drilling down of the data they are just going to make the summary of the data using summaries and comparisons it is just going to make some reports sometimes they may also have the data in a graphical format a summary of the data will be given in a graphical format so now to sum up this slide let me repeat again mis is used by middle level management for continuing with their administrative activities and decision making what it does it takes the data which is available in the tps and summarizes into reports these reports are routine which can be yearly monthly weekly or daily it doesn't go in depth to drill down the data it is going to make some summaries and comparisons so this is what you have to understand now you can see this diagram it will explain to you very clearly about the transaction processing system and the relationship between this see there are three transaction processing system in this company one is order processing system the other one is material resource planning system the other one is general ledger system there are three transaction processing system all of the three have got the database where the information is stored about each of this transaction so in mis information system the management information system that you can see here actually the data is extracted from the tps like sales data the unit production data product change data and expense data all these data are extracted into mis files so the mis system management information system 
is going to get the data from all the transaction processing system. There are three transaction processing system. You can see that this data is coming from this transaction processing system. This two data is going to come from this transaction processing system. And this data is going to come from this transaction processing system. All these data are going to be pulled, pulled into one source in the management information system. And in the MIS, the manager can see reports and online displays, which is like a dashboard. So this is the overall idea. So he is not only going to get data from one transaction processing system. There are many departments in a company like there is one department about order. There is one department which is taking off production and the other one is about accounting. All the data are consolidated into MIS files in the management information system and the MIS system will produce summary reports early, monthly and weekly as required by the manager and this will be seen in the computer interface of the uh, manager as a form of dashboards or summary reports like this. So I think today's class was very clear for you to understand about the management information system. Let's meet again in the next class maybe with another type of information system. Until then see you, then, see you and Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Barakatuhu.